Hey what's up guys, it's Creature here, and today we're going to be going through all the brand new stuff that's been added in terms of content for Roblox Pokemon games. Now first off, we're going to start off with Kinelight Kingdom. Kinelight Kingdom has had many dev streams as of recently, and they have released a lot of brand new information and leaks that I'm going to show you guys now. First off, we have this brand new Kinelight you can probably see here, but I'll show a bit of image on the screen. This is the brand new Kinelite that we call Nuki. Now Nuki seems to be a brawler and plant type. And here's his description. Young, small, yet prone to fighting anything on site. Nuki pursues the way of the warrior with unrelenting vigor. I think that's how you say it. They do not take kindly to those that interrupt their practice or play. I think this is really cool and it's just another example of Randa's amazing modeling. So I'm super excited to see more of Nuki. Next up, I'm going to look at some more teasers. So we can see this other new Kinelite called Peeper. Now, if I can try to get over the water. But this Kinelite is a water and sound type. Now, the sound type is an interesting type that we don't see in many creature capturing games. But here is Peeper. He's just chilling. And look, it says, you found the Kinelite Peeper. So, I think he's really awesome. A lot of the dev developers love people. Also, guys, just letting you know, if you're wondering where I am right now, this is actually the brand new Kinelite Plaza. If you want to check it out, I may leave the link in the description. So, go check out the Kinelite Plaza, but it's really sick. And you can see all the new 3D models. Like this one here, we have Megalo Megalossal. He's like a shark Kinelite, and he looks sick. So, anyways, let's look at some more leaks from Kinelite Kingdom. Uh, then we just have a visual representation, or presentation, my bad, of the raid system that's coming out. So it's just a slideshow of what raids are going to look like. It shows the different spawns, rune stones, raid interactions, raid queues, raid rooms, and raid bosses. As well as a few other things such as rewards, shards, and relics. I think this is really cool. I'm excited for raids to be an addition in Kinelite. But let's head on to some of the other game news. Next up, we have Paramon with all this new stuff that they've been leaking. So first up, if I go to the updates tab, I can show you this brand new Paramon that was designed by Yummy Red Beans. And since the original evolution resembled another Paramon, the artist has redesigned the evolution. As you can see, it really looks awesome. It's like an electric eel. It's got a really cool black and blue coloration. And honestly, I just think this looks sick. It's a really cool looking Paramon. And it's just a small look of what, like, it's just a small look of what Randa and the rest of the Paramon team can do in terms of models. Now, next up. He sh there's a little leak of what may be after Route 1. Looks pretty cool, and I kind of like the basic design of Paramon's map. Next up, we have this little fan-made Paramon. We don't really know the name of this yet, but it kind of looks like a fishing lure, and there's like a bunch of different uh, variations. It kind of reminds me of Tatsugiri, but I think it's pretty cool. And finally, we have this new fish called Malfish. And it looks really cool. It's kind of like a rock star fish. And it's another fan made Kinelite that was in the fish con concepts competition. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed all this brand new news. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.